been saying this for a long time. Other people have been telling you this. And you still have dummies out here who won't open their eyes and look around them to see what's really going on. That actually believes they're an adult when they go into the military. That this is how you're going to become a man. So you're going to become an adult. And they actually fall into this propaganda and these lies. And whoever wrote this article, I give them all hands up. Okay, I really did. Everything that they have wrote in this article is 100% truth. All truth. There's no lies here. This is no propaganda, no lies, and this is exactly it. Yes, our troops do not, okay? Our troops do not protect our freedoms. And we should stop thanking them for doing so. And he's so correct. He or she, whoever wrote this, is so correct. But I want you to read through this article. Okay, you know, I had a person tell me to kiss their ass because I said that we were repeating history all over and said just like Nazi Germany, just like Adolf Hitler. And that's no lie. Let's note one thing crystal clear. No member of the U.S. military contributes in any way whatsoever to protecting our freedoms of the American people. As a matter of fact, they are more likely to turn their weapons on you than they are to defend your constitutional rights. Correct. And I know a lot of you dumb idiots out there say, Oh no, sir, that's because you haven't followed history. You haven't looked at a fucking thing that's gone on. That's because you turn your back to the fucking truth. That's the reason you're saying that. Because you haven't looked nothing up. And so if any of you morons want to say different, it's because you haven't looked nothing up and you're only showing how stupid you are. And that's the truth. Okay, the only people on the on this planet Earth who can affect your freedom are members of Congress, local legislators, and the members of enforcement institutions. That's right, who will blindly follow the rules, who sign their paychecks, and without your be beloved troops are murdering people around the globe. Yes, I said murdering. Your Congress and local legislators are eliminating your freedoms, that's right, without any involuntary or whatever you want to call it, or so-called protesting in the armed forces. That's right, because you're all cowards. Whoever signs your paycheck, that's right. As long as you tear things, your paychecks, they give you some scare tactics like we're going to court martial you, we're going to lock you up, yep. If you don't do as we say, that's how criminals work. Criminals scare the living hell out of you so that you do as they say. <coughs> we are not fighting the war on terrorism. The war on terrorism has always been fake. Always. And this has been said a thousand times by a thousand people in the snow line. A lot more than a thousand people. But so many people have got their brains so far parked up their ass, it's not even funny. That's no lie. It's not even funny. They're not willing to go look anything up for, them, for themselves. They're not willing to actually open their eyes and look around them. They're just going to fucking go along with the flow. That's right. Go along with the group. Think bad. Yep. And to fit in, yeah, bad. Don't worry, you're gonna fit in just fine. You will fit into that FEMA coffin just fine. You have my promise on that, okay? That you are gonna fit in. You will fit into that FEMA coffin just fine. Oh, I know you don't think so. Yes, you will. Don't worry, you will. You'll fit in there just fine. They have plenty of them for you too. That's right. I'm gonna leave the link to this underneath this video in the more so that you can read this, but this is the truth. So for all of you people out there slamming people like myself who've been telling you for a long time that we're in a phony war, that our troops are over there killing innocent people, yep that's right, that we're over there bombing and destroying cities and killing innocent people, that we're just like, we're no better than Nazi Germany, we're no better than Adolf Hitler, that's right, and believe me, when this person said your troops will turn the guns on you, the American people, they're not off at all. They're not wrong. They're not nuts. They're correct. 
And unfortunately, a lot of you sheep out there are going to have to find it out the hard way when the gun's being turned on you and you're going, what the hell? And then you're thinking, well, how can them not conspiracy theories be right? Because it was never a conspiracy theorist. It's because you're a dumb fuck that ain't got time to go look anything up. It's because you want a group think. You want to use somebody else's brain to think with because you ain't got enough intelligence to use your own brains. Isn't that the real truth? Isn't that the real truth? You know it's the real truth, don't you? You just don't like hearing me say it that way, do you? I don't care whether you like me hearing say it. I don't care what you say. I've done my research, I've done looked into things, and my eyes are open to what's going on around me. And I don't have to fucking group think, I don't have to lie and make an excuse to cover things up because I'm lazy. That's you morons doing that. That's you morons who want to fucking say that this article's bullshit. The only bullshit's what's falling out your fucking mouth. And for all of you fucking morons out there that want to type comments saying this is fucking full of shit. Uh, go out, crawl out of the toilet or crawl back in the toilet you come out of. Okay? Because that's where you belong. It's right back in the toilet you crawl out of. Because this is not full of shit. This is the actual fucking truth in your face. And you just can't handle the fucking truth is your only problem. And you can't fucking deny it. Well, you can deny it all you want, but you can't back anything you say. There's not a fucking thing you could ever say that you could back because you already know you're a fucking liar. And it's because you won't take the time to fucking look anything up because you're lazy. You're dumbed down. You're, like I said, brain raped, lazy, dumb. You want to talk about somebody's ability to write and spell as they're dumb and you're more smarter? <laughs> yeah, right. Not even. You're not willing to use your so-called ability you think you have over them, are you? Oh, no, you won't use that so-called ability to go look and read. And open your eyes and look around you and see what's really going on. You think it's justified to go over and kill innocent people because your government told you to. Well, somebody's going to write out your paycheck, so I'll just go kill some innocent people. Yeah, yeah. They'll use scare tactics to tell me they're going to lock me up if I don't do as they say. But you're all too stupid to realize that if you stood together and all said no, they couldn't lock you up. They'd have no military. They get their power from scaring the hell out of you and you being stupid enough to allow them to do it. There are other human beings just like you and I are. They shit just like we do. They bleed just like we do. Their whole nine yards. And the only reason you're following orders is because you're fucking cowards that won't stand together. If you stood the fucking together, they can't fucking possibly court martial y'all. They'd have no military. Then you would bring them to a dead stop because they get their power from us, the people. And only us, the people, can take the power back away from the criminals. And we can only do that by standing together and realizing right from wrong. Anyhow, you can check this story out. Click the link underneath the more. Until the next video, you all have a good one.